Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and this is an addendum to my recent Factorio video. In that video, I showed that the 4x4 balancer on the right is as effective as the 4x4 balancer on the left, but uses fewer parts. And I concluded, through a scientific experiment, that the thing on the right was superior. And that is and it's superior by virtue of the fact that it used fewer parts. And that is technically true, so long as both your input and your output is flowing properly. I would suggest that the thing on the right is maybe more accurately called a 4x4 sort of divider, because what's happening is for every input, it is being divided in half and then divided again into quarters and then evenly distributed in all four belts. So regardless of what you put on either every input, it will indeed go to every output belt into one quarter ratios. However, this experiment will show that that is not um, necessarily what we want. It does that, but that's not necessarily what we want. I've got this set up here. I've got iron plates and some rail on here. The rail's here just to be able to visualize what's going on a little bit better. Now, if we look at, say, just the central section over here, okay, just this bit over here, you can see that both of these balancers is doing the same thing. On both of these sides, left and the right, if you look around here, you can see about half of the belts are being utilized and about half of the belts are being utilized over here. And that's what you would expect. We've got two inputs and four outputs. So the four outputs should have about 50% saturation. And that is true over here. But as these two outer belts get backed up, which you can imagine both outer belts here are going to some sort of factory sub-assembly that, you know, doesn't actually need a lot of material, and so it tends to back up. Whereas the two middle ones are feeding some sort of sub-assembly that needs as much material as you can possibly give it. It's very greedy. That's when the problem starts to become very evident. On the left, as the two outer ones are saturated and blocked, the two center ones take up all the material that can possibly feed into it, and you end up with 100% saturation of both middle items. Whereas on the right, the two middle items are still only at 50%. And if we go down to the bottom, you can see on the left, everything's flowing in perfectly fine. Whereas on the right, you get this stutter. We're only using about half of our possible throughput on the right. Now, if I go and kill this and let everything trickle in, Okay, bit of a backlog here. We're gonna wait for that to come through. Let's count what we ended up with in our chests here, which are trying to drain as quickly as possible and seem to be working perfectly fine in doing that. Uh, I guess we'll count the left first because it's done. On the left, we have, if we just say look at the rail, 115 and 115. And we end up with 347 iron plates and 307 um, iron plates on both sides. Here we end up with 73 rail, 73 rail, 230 iron plates, 231 iron plates. There was an odd number of iron plates, so obviously, you know, they're going to be off by one. Both of these do exactly the same job of balancing, okay? Of dividing, I suppose. You can think of it as dividing each input into all of the outputs. Both of them do exactly the same perfect job. However, of, of, of balancing, but that's not what we're looking for. We not only want balance, we want to get as much through as possible. On the right, we only got 73 rails through, whereas on the left, we got 115. The one on the left has more throughput. And you can see, this is, this is still completely jammed over here. It's got stuff that will never, ever, ever go through. That sort of stays, A, it stays stuck in here. More importantly, it doesn't flow through very quickly. And if it were some sort of race, I mean, if we just turn the power back on, the all the boxes on the left would empty first in fact you can already see this some of the boxes here are empty obviously the rail um will be a bad example or will it it's almost like well the thing on the left is actually going to take more weight rail in the end ah! actually no i guess that's not true ah! no it will the thing on the left will indeed eat more of the rail not only will it empty all of its iron faster it's also going to steal more of the rail because it can just process things faster. This thing on the right is a perfect balancer, but not a perfect load balancer. And so another experiment, an update on what we had before, we have confirmed that in fact, this is the preferred version because our previous experiment confused the goal. Our goal is not to evenly split things up. Our goal is to try to get as much throughput balanced across each thing as possible. And the thing on the left is more superior. So 
I will switch back to using that. However, you will only see, I've already recorded uh, up to episode 23. So it's only an episode or 23 or 24, something like that. You'll only see the results of this experiment after episode 23 or 24 or something like that. So uh, do be patient. We'll, we've, I've figured this out. We've confirmed it experimentally, but um, the uh, the win from that is still going to wait. And you can, there you go. You can see all done. Still got a lot more to do. Just cannot clear the goods as quickly. So still learning, but learning through experiment. I like it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.